Hi there, my name is Wendy and I created this wish list and gift tracker template for Notion. And I figured I would go ahead and do a quick walkthrough of this wish list and gift tracker template that I created for Notion. Uh, I figured it would be a little easier than typing out instructions. The first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and duplicate this workspace. So up in this right hand corner, you'll actually have the option. It'll say duplicate. So go ahead and click on that and that will copy this template to your workspace. Once you've done that, you will see that this main dashboard here is the area where you will keep your own wish list of your uh, items that you would like gifted to you. So you can see here I have a couple of sample um, items and you will see a photo of this item in this view as well as the name, the price, and any notes that you may have taken um, for this item. So it's just a nice quick little view of your item there. Over here on the left hand column you will see a list of people that you are currently looking for gifts for. This is actually a database. If you click here on under where it says people, it will take you to the database itself in a table view. It's a pretty simple database, just has a name section, uh, a relation to a gifts database, whether you are gifting people or not, and a place for their birthday. If you go back to the dashboard, in order to add a new person, all you have to do is click new, type the name, and exit with the escape key. You can add as many people as you'd like, click out of there, and they will show up in your database. While you are creating this um, new person in your database, you can go ahead and enter their birthday. The gift button is already clicked because it's assuming that you are going to be gifting this person since you are entering them into this database. Um, and then there's a place here for you to, if you'd like, go ahead and start you know, typing things in for whatever gift item you are getting for that person. That's not the easiest way to do it though, so I will show you in a moment how to um, do that a little quicker and easier. Coming back to the main dashboard, um, I also put a section for gift occasions. Uh, the holidays and birthdays kind of tend to be occasions where you have a lot of gifts that you might be tracking, so I created dashboards for those two specific occasions. If you click on, let's say, birthdays, you will see here in this dashboard all of the gift recipients that are uh, you are currently shopping for gift for birthday gifts for excuse me right now it's only our bestie that we're shopping for but you would see more na more names along here if you were shopping for other people and then below that is the gift status so idea currently there's nothing something you've already purchased for someone here you see your bestie and how much you paid for it whether that gift is wrapped or and when it's gifted. So this is just a little status board for the for tracking uh, the status of those gifts that you're purchasing. If we go back uh, to see what a person's page looks like, you can see here there are currently three uh, occasions that I am gifting something to my mom, her anniversary, a housewarming gift for her, as well as Christmas gifts. And then down below, you can see these are all of the gifts that I'm currently shopping for or tracking for my mom. Um, it might be July and I have a gift idea that I come across for her and I can go ahead and add it to my list and it would show up here as well as here under Christmas. If you are going to be tracking different gifts other than the ones included in the template, it's very easy to just double click and change to, let's say, um, Hanukkah. And then here is a filter. You have an occasion. These are all the occasions that are pre-populated in the gift template. So I could just switch it to Hanukkah. I would keep my mom. And as you can see, it's empty since I don't currently have a Hanukkah gift for her, but that, uh, that list would populate with any Hanukkah gifts for her there. Go ahead and change this back to anniversary, I believe it was. Yes. So this is the uh, individual, what an individual page looks like for each person that you are gifting. If you head back to the main dashboard, 
uh, you will see that's pretty much it. Um, I will give you a peek into the gifts dashboard as well, just to so you know. You can have an item here, the different people that this item is associated with, an area for cost, the status of the gift, the type, if you'd like to track that, and then more details on the uh, on the gift status, when you purchased it, when you received it, if it was shipped to you, and the date that you gifted it, as well as the occasion. Um, let's see. Now, what I mentioned earlier about adding uh, adding gifts, gift options to your database, one of the things I really love are is using um, a clipper. These are just Chrome extensions to help you get items into your database. Um, I have two. I have the uh, Save to Notion, the Notion Saver Chrome extension, as well as the um, native Notion Web Clipper. I prefer the Save to Notion, the Notion Saver Clipper, because it gives me a little more control. As an example, if I wanted to gift a Paperwhite, Kindle Paperwhite, to, let's say, my sister, I, and I used this Save to Notion Clipper. I've already set up a few, uh, they're like templates basically. So electronic gifts is one of the options that I created here. And you can see, I just kind of changed the name a little bit. I don't need all of this information. I can enter the cost right here, 104.99. Um, it's an electronic gift. And let's say I did this for her birthday, um, add new page. And now if I go back here into the tracker and I go to the gifts section, you will see the all new Kindle Paperwhite it is already in my database. I just attach it to my sister and all of that information, maybe do some notes, um, prefers black and there we go it's currently an idea because I haven't purchased it yet um, and then in order to make this page look like the one that my mom has because as you can see this is just empty what I do is I come over to my mom page and I can go ahead and copy <clears throat> all of these Go back to my sister, paste them all. Let's say that right now I'm only tracking one of them. I'm only tracking her birthday. Get rid of these extra columns. Birthday. And then I'm going to create a linked database to my gifts database. Look for gifts. I prefer the full page and small text view personally. And then I'm going to set up a filter here. Well, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is switch this to the list view. So click on add a view, change to list, and write birthday, hit create. And now I'm going to add some filters where the people is sister and where occasion is birthday. So here is her birthday list. I will then just copy both, duplicate down below, change this to all occasions. Birthday. Let me actually, did this come? You do want this birthday to be on top under the views. So I'll come down here, change this name to all. And for the filter, I will just remove the occasion. So this will have anything that is tied to my sister. And there you see, currently they are exact replicas, but if you were also tracking other gifts for your sister, they would show up or you could go ahead and make um, make another another column here for her. All you would need to do is make a column like this. Let's move this here. Go ahead and type in, say, Christmas. I think 
that was a heading two. I'm sorry, go ahead and do blue to do the background. Make a duplicate of that database by clicking Option or Alt while clicking and dragging and changing the filter to Christmas. Rename this just to keep things neat. And there you go. You now have two different columns for your sister. You can even add an icon. Let's say that she's in a tuxedo. And there you go. There is your new page for your sister. Um, you could do the same for your brother or any others. Obviously, you can go ahead and just rename the ones that are currently here. That would be much easier. Um, but if you need to create a new one, feel free to refer to this video again um, to go through the steps. So that is it. After you are done um, watching this video and once you feel comfortable with this template, please feel free to delete all of this up here and then you will be left with a clean template. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Twitter. Uh, my DMs are open and I'm happy to help with any questions you may have. Thank you.